the Scarlet Pearl Casino parking lot. My new home away from home. The auto repair shop. <laughs> hey! Hey! I'm testing the microphone. I'm testing the microphone. No, 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 no! Lila, Ron, come back. I don't gamble. So this is really out of my comfort zone. Hi, I'm Kim Ann, and this is Ron and Lilo. We've been living full-time in this truck camper for two years. In my 50s, I left an unhappy marriage, most of my worldly possessions, and my 20-year nursing career to become a nomad, travel, and start living my dreams. If you like our video, please subscribe, like, and comment. We would be so grateful. In my last video, we were on our way to Austin, and my worst travel fear occurred. This left us stranded without a vehicle in a casino parking lot, causing a lot of anxiety about the expensive truck repairs and how long everything would take. Spoiler alert, we ended up stuck for nine long days. Uh. Good morning, everybody. Taking the dogs out for a walk this morning at the lovely Scarlet Pearl Casino, my new home away from home. Being stuck, I had a lot of free time on my hands. So I created my YouTube channel and posted my first short. I want to let you know that this short has absolutely no profanity in it whatsoever. It's just an auditory illusion because I don't curse. Really. Okay, so it's day six at the Scarlet Pearl parking lot. The um, auto the auto repair shop. <laughs> hey! Help! Hey! The good guy in hell! dogs start fighting. During this time, I learned how to use my new camera and microphone like a dork. I'm testing microphone. I'm testing the microphone. I'm testing the microphone. Microphone's right here. I'm testing it. Thank you. We went on many, many long dog walks around the casino and across the bridge to Biloxi. I let the dogs off their leashes to run. Bad idea. They are rat terriers. They were bred to hunt and kill small critters. They saw a squirrel and come took here. off. No, 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 no! Lila, Ron, come back! 
Anyway, I safely got them back and no critters were harmed. Yay! I made breakfast, avocado toast with rice cakes because I ran out of bread. It was still yummy. Okay, this is seriously day six at the Scarlet Pearl parking lot. The auto repair shop told me that some of the parts are in. So tomorrow is Monday. They can um, do most of the repairs enough to get me back to Florida. The funny thing is, like, I thought I was taking really good care of my truck. I was getting oil changes. I was taking it in for routine maintenance, like according to the schedule. And I guess, you know, I had brakes done at 120,000 miles and now it's up to 146,000. Um, I don't know. I guess when you put that much wear and tear on your vehicle driving and with this heavy camper on it, it wear and tears <laughs> more often. So what am I going to do? I was visited yesterday by the security. They told me because I've been here so long, I need to start gambling. I don't gamble. I don't really like casinos, kind of sensory overload to me. So this is really out of my comfort zone. But the Scarlet Pearl has been so gracious to let me stay here. I, so today, tonight, I am going to put on some makeup, do something with my hair, take a baby wipe shower because I'm running out of water. I didn't think I would be, I thought I would be at an RV park by now. So I didn't fill my water up all the way and go gamble. <laughs> hey, I'm all ready. Heading into the casino now. I would love to take you with me, but I know they kind of frown upon those things in casinos, cameras. It is 8.10 now. We'll see how long I last. Okay, I'm back. It's 10 to 9, so I really wasn't there that long. But still not a fan. I'm still not a fan. They gave me a player's card, and they had $20 on it. So I went to a dollar slot, and I played the $20. I put an extra dollar in there, and... I didn't win. I don't, I don't get it. I know a lot of people really, really enjoy it. Um, I don't know. It just doesn't do anything for me. Uh, but the people were super nice. The lady at the cashier, I didn't know what the hell I was doing and she was very helpful. And then the attendant at the slot machine, cause I didn't know what the hell I was doing was Amy. She was very sweet and very nice. And they all say, hope you win. <laughs> it's like, the odds are against me. I'm probably not going to. But there's always a chance, right? There's always a slim chance. And I didn't win. But I did it. I walked in. I was there. And still not a fan. But I tried. I did yoga. And I did more yoga. And still more yoga. I had a lot of time on my hands. I even got my first yoga injury, which I didn't think was possible. 
I injured my lower back, butt, and hamstrings doing a prolonged bridge pose with straight leg. This made sleeping almost impossible for a few nights. Luckily, Walmart was within walking distance and I got some Walmart brand Icy Hot Patches and Tiger Balm, which helped a lot. Along with my yoga, I meditated a lot. My dogs are surprisingly calm when I meditate. By day seven, all this meditation and yoga started working on my brain. I contemplated the trajectory of my life and started spouting some pretty intense life philosophies. I was also very emotional. I just got done meditating and my heart is full. I can see the possibilities of my life. And how I love the way I'm designing my life. Spend quality time with people I love. And quality time with my dogs that I love. And for the rest of what's left of my time on earth. I want to live with purpose. And that doesn't include rinse and repeat life of punching a clock and going into work and driving home in traffic and waking up at 4.30 and doing it all over again, exhausted, not taking time to breathe, just in survival mode. And I don't know how I'm going to make a living, <laughs> but I trust that it'll come and I trust I'll be okay. And I trust that I can live my life like this. It's an amazing feeling. See life in full color. Experience everything. I wish the same for you. Namaste. So all in all, it's not a terrible place to be stuck. There's the casino behind me. There's a trash can. We're right by the water. Nice places to walk the dogs. Nobody's bothering me. I'm staying for free, so I might as well enjoy it. Good morning, everybody. It's day eight here at the Scarlet Pearl parking lot. I'm still waiting for parts for my truck. Hopefully it'll be done today, but I thought it would be done last Wednesday. I thought it would be done last Friday. I thought it would be done on Monday, so I'm still here and I'm out taking the dogs for a walk. It's a beautiful morning. It's like my new norm. <laughs> I just picked up my truck! Oh my God, I'm so happy to have my truck. And it was a lot of money. It was almost $3,000. But I'm on my way back to the casino to get my gamble! the camper packed up our stuff the dogs are in the truck and we're ready to go thank you scarlet pearl but i've had enough the camper is loaded we're about to go i can't say i'll miss this parking lot but it's actually been an enriching experience just taking a pause out of life the Scarlet Pearl has been amazing, letting me stay here, even though they did force me to gamble, but what are you gonna do? You're staying in a casino parking lot, that's gonna happen. See you later, Scarlet Pearl. I would definitely recommend staying here if anyone's in the Biloxi area. They've been a great host. Oh my God, look at this. Mississippi has a free dump station. <laughs> Thanks, Mississippi. They just saved me 10 bucks.
Okay, we're waking up today in the Love's Truck Stop parking lot. It was my first truck stop overnight. And I always shied away from truck stop overnights because I don't like the sound of loud trucks. But if you can see out there, the trucks are behind that fence. And so I didn't hear them all night. It was wonderful. Another thing I did last night because I wasn't plugged in for 10 days and it was rainy for like two days. Oh, hi Lilo. Hi Lilo. <laughs> My uh, camper shut off last night after the second day of clouds. And I think a lot of it has to do with my new refrigerator, which I replaced my three-way refrigerator with a 12-volt refrigerator, and it takes more electric. So if it's sunny, if I plug in occasionally, if I'm running the truck, it's fine. Um, but this is the first time it's run out of electric. But I did a little work around to get the refrigerator going. I took my Jackery 2000 here, and I plugged my whole camper into it. And if you can see, it's still at 40%, 47% battery, and I've been running it all night. Um, it's not pretty. I have an extension cord, and here's my pass-through window. I have my pass-through window open all night. But um, it worked for me, and I'm really glad I have that. Ultimately, we missed the conference and had to travel back to Florida because my mom was having surgery. The surgery went well, and she's doing much better now. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you so much. Always be kind, especially to yourself. And we'll see you on the next one.